It's not love anymore, it's Lucha. I don't like the name, but my grandma keeps calling her that. And so I'm just gonna go with it because I'm like, I'm the one training her, so I can't have her like confused with her name, you know? Like when I call her, I can't have her, like I need her to come, you know what I mean? So if I'm calling her like all these names, she's gonna get confused, so. Leecha is officially the dog.
Levy. Getting real crazy, little labradoodle double doodle.
porque de pronto aparecen rayos y no es bueno ver rayos. Se entra a la casa, se entra a la casa, pero no es bueno verlo. Este es el este es el Cuando yo no lo entiendo. Diapers are here. Look at this. You like it? Wow. Diapers, yeah? And your lotion. Wow. This is from CVS. Wow. adding water to my lotion. Well, I'll put the lotion and then I'll put water after and I think it helps like penetrate the lotion more.
Esta niña, muy pulado y el
It's not love anymore, it's Lucha. I don't like the name, but my grandma keeps calling her that. And so I'm just going to go with it because I'm like, I'm the one training her. So I can't have her like confused with her name, you know. Like when I call her, I can't have her, like I need her to come, you know what I mean? So if I'm calling her like all these names, she's going to get confused, so... Leecha is officially the dog. I don't know. I probably could still call her Levy. But. See, I'm still very emotional, but that, yeah, but, but to that point, it is what it is. I just have to call her Lee Chet. So fucking ugly. I don't know if I'm just being dramatic, like, I can still be able to call her Levy and she'll still understand. I'm just really annoyed right now. Is it, like, yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, I was kind of having like a bit of anxiety earlier. Whenever I'm, I get it sometimes around, I get it around multiple people, but we'll just name the two main people that I've recently had to deal with it with. Um, I get anxiety a lot around my grandma. Um, and Fatima, family relative. Um, so I just kind of want to like document, explain to you guys how I kind of deal with it in that situation. So what I feel in the moment, whenever, not all the time, but when, so with Fatima, my thing with her is that she's just like always calling Maxi. Oh my God, these lizards are about to hell. She's always calling Maxie, like she's always saying Maxie, Maxie. And this one time I told her like, hey, that's like really, I was like, can you, I didn't say it's annoying, like I didn't even explain it to her, I was like, can you just stop calling her Maxie, like, you're just, like, I didn't even like say like, oh, you say that, like, I was just like annoyed, I was like, stop saying Maxie so much, like, it was just so annoying, like, literally, in, in like a two hour period, she says Maxie at least like 30 times. And I feel like she does it as like a coping. I'm like really like sensitive to energies and stuff. And I feel like she like calls Maxie while she's like doing something. So obviously she's a family relative. So like she lives here and like she kind of like pays like a little bit of rent. I know. I don't know. But like she eats like free food. Like obviously she eats out of our fridge. Like she showers here. Like she does everything here. So I feel like she still feels a bit uncomfortable, like, just grabbing food from the fridge. And so every time she's about to, like, grab something from the fridge, she'll be like, Maxie, Maxie, like, kind of, like, trying to ease the situation while she's, like, opening the fridge. Like, hey, let me, let me take some food out of the fridge. It just kind of feels awkward, so I'm just going to say Maxie. And I'm just tired of people using Maxie as, like... Clutch. I don't know what's the word. Like a, like, I don't know. Kind of like a way to like make it less awkward. Like it's just like her name is like so sacred to me. Like for people to just use it like so like casually. It's like that's one thing. And so yeah, every morning like she eats breakfast. She like so basically like this last like anytime she eats bread, she eats bread and coffee for breakfast 
And every time she like grabs the bread, she just has like this weird energy. Like she, like it's this energy of like, I feel like I shouldn't be grabbing this bread, but I'm going to grab it anyways. And like, I can't really explain the energy, but it's just like off. Like, and I think especially now as a mom, whenever I sense that energy, I'm like a little bit more paranoid. Like I'm like more like checking on the kids. Like, I don't know. It just makes me like, kind of like want to like see what's going on. So I'm like. She has this weird energy, so I'm, like, seeing, like, why is she, like, so off? And so now, like, it's, like, now I'm, like, getting anxiety because I'm, like, worrying about what this lady is doing when I, like, have other things to worry about. And it's, like, I wouldn't even care, but it's the way she, like, does things. It's, like, dang, if you feel like you don't deserve to, like, eat food here, then don't eat food here. But, like, be bold about it, you know? Like, stop being awkward as fuck, you know what I mean? Like, everything she does is so fucking awkward. And then on top of it, she, like, says, Maxi. Or now with the baby, she's like, bleh, 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 bleh. And it's, like, some people would take that as her just being nice. And it's, like, you would have to be here to experience it. And, like, sometimes I could feel like she's genuine. And then other times I feel like she's just trying to, like, mask something. And so, yeah, so I get, like, this anxiety when I just want to, like, punch her in the face. Like, stop saying her fucking name, basically, like. Stop being so fucking weird. Like, I just want to punch her in the face, literally. So, basically, when I have this anxiety, um, just like lizards out of the, there's these two lizards that are just like crawling in front of each other. I don't know, it doesn't even matter, but. So, yeah, so then it just makes me anxious. So, what I did was I just came into my room. This was unintentional. I'm just telling you what kind of made me feel better. And I'm documenting so I can do it next time. Because so I was feeling like really tense. Like tense. And like anxious. Like biting my tongue. Like my mind is racing. I'm just like. I don't want to go back to jail. Like. I'm breathing. I, I, I was starting to breathe. But I kind of felt myself getting lightheaded. So I stopped breathing so heavily. And I just ended up coming here in the room, I think, just to, like, change the baby or something. So I laid the baby down, and as soon as I laid him down, I kind of just, like, let go. And then I was just, like, kind of talking to God. I wasn't even praying. Like, I guess I was praying, like, in my head. I wasn't praying out loud, but I kind of was just like, God, like, help me get through this, God. Like, why am I here? Like, I'm just so miserable here. And, like, I get even more anxiety because I know stress, like, I've heard of like stress killing people you know and you guys have probably heard me see my videos like I feel like the inside of my body is like gray so every time I get like this anxiety or like I feel like hitting someone I feel like I'm shortening my life and that kind of gives me anxiety because I don't want to be stressed I don't want to be like sad or feel miserable or anxious or angry I don't like feeling like that I mean no one does right so I just came here, I was like, God, just like, help me, Lord, like, help, like, heal me, heal my heart, like, chill me out, like, help me chill out, Lord, like, I don't know why I'm so angry, and like, I love Jesus, obviously, and I'm like, I'm like, what would Jesus do, like, Jesus fed, like, 5,000 people, so I'm like, it's not the fact that she's hungry, it's just like, the way she, like, does things is just so awkward, like, I'm not like, oh, like, have her starve, like, that's just one thing. There's a lot of things, but, like, one of the main things she does, because, like, her morning routine is obviously, like, eat. So, one of the main things that pisses me off, that one, one of them is that she eats, like, the way she, like, goes about eating is so freaking weird. So, I was like, God, just please, like, help me chill out. Like, please heal my heart. Like, please, I just want to be in my own space. And whenever I'm just in a negative space like this, I kind of start to, like, hate everyone. Like, when I start to feel like that, I start to hate, like, my baby daddies, basically. Like, dang, like, these, like, dudes are, like, out, like, figuring out their lives. Like, they don't have no kids with them. Like, they could just move easily. Like, they could just go to their job and, like, have a rent, like, pay rent somewhere. And it's like, I'm stuck here until who knows how long. So yeah, I just start to like resent little everything, like any anything, like I'll just like start to like talk shit about people in my head. Like I just get really negative. And my grandma, she just 
uh, I don't even want to go down that list, but recently, like, I needed to use on my phone that I'm using now, like, I was having trouble, like, with my Google Authenticator, like, getting, the like, signing into accounts with my codes. And so I asked to borrow her phone so I could download the Google Authenticator app on her phone and I could scan it. Oh, yeah, because on this phone I can't scan the code. I have to, like, manually put in codes. Um, so I use her phone to, like, get into Instagram and stuff. And so I just happened to end up on Facebook. And then I, well, I ended up on Facebook because I was trying to search my account because Facebook has been giving me issues. Like, they locked me out. So I was like, oh, did they take my account down? So I searched myself up. And one, no, my account was still there, thank God. And then, but then two, I stumbled on another Facebook account of mine. And then I ended up coming across like my old reels with Max when she was like a baby. And it was like, I was like super happy because I thought like I lost those videos. Because one thing about me is when I'm super emotional, I like start to delete stuff. Like, I'll start to, and like. I'll start to delete stuff like off my phone, off my computer. Like I'll just try to like delete any memory of like my past, so I don't have to like remind myself of the past or like anything that's around my house. Like if it reminds me of something bad, I will get rid of it. That's why my grandma's such a bitch with me because like I just I'm just so quick to get rid of something if it like if I feel like it's losing value or it's taking more time to keep it and use it. Like if I'm putting more effort into like using it than it needs to then it's like okay let's throw it out like the couch judge had this couch and it was like full of blood like it's been there for like over like 10 years like we had two dogs before those dogs would sleep on that couch like the couch is just dirty so i just put it in the garage and so yeah so that so now dutch he would sleep on it and he'll get like blood on it and like it was like a leather couch so every time like it would dry up like it would be so hard to clean off the blood so I just put it in the garage because, like, I'm tired of cleaning this. Like, I, it's, like, it's hard to freaking clean blood off a couch and, like, chemicals, all this stuff. So now I just put a blanket for him. And so he's not bleeding so much now, but in case he does bleed or it's just, like, dirty from him, like, being a dog, I could just throw it in the washing machine. I'm not, like, scrubbing, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to work smarter, not harder. I and mean, then she was giving me shit like, oh, that blanket's not for Dutch. That blanket's like for like people, like da 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 da. And I'm like, okay, bitch. Well, then bring the couch in and you clean it. You know what I'm saying? Like same with Leecha. Like all right, well you fucking train her. Like I'm just so so like, like I literally do things in the way that makes sense, and they don't make sense to anyone else. I'm like, how do you guys not freaking get it? We have these rags in the house that we like clean with. You guys have probably seen me clean. Like I clean like the floors and like the countertops with these like towels like little cleaning towels and so while they were in Colombia I had like a bag in the kitchen you know how people like hang like trash bags like near or under the sink to like throw trash in so you don't have to throw it into the main trash so I had like a bag like that and I was just throwing in like the rags and stuff and like I, I, I took it out before my grandma even saw it but I knew she wouldn't be okay with like rags being in a bag in the kitchen and it's like lady do you expect me to go to the garage every and our garage makes a freaking beep beep sound every time you like open and close the door because of our alarm i'm like so you want me to do all and i and i like clean at all hours of the night so it'll be like three two in the morning i have to go up to the garage to throw this cloth and like a little bin and like i'd rather just collect them and then at the end of the night throw them out and like keep it like that you know what i'm saying like why am i going out every single time to the garage and then same with the recyclables. I like to recycle. And my grandparents recycle too at times. So every time I have a water bottle, I have to take the water bottle out to the garage. One water bottle out to the garage, the beep beep sound, to recycle. When we can just figure out like an area, put like a bin or somewhere, we could just throw our recyclables and then at a certain time, at the, at the end of the day or whatever, just throw out everything that we recycled that day. Like people are just freaking dumb. Like they, like, I swear, like, no offense. I don't know. I don't even know. Like, I'm not even going to say that because I was going to say I feel like only entrepreneurs are like really time sensitive but I feel like my grandparents like feel like they got no time to waste like they just like are chilling you know what I'm saying like their room is a mess like I feel like they're borderline hoarders like they have like documents from like freaking the 90s 80s like lady man you do not need that like clear out your shit 
They literally have like three dressers, like three full size dressers in their room. I'm like, I barely have this little dresser. And they have three full dressers because they just have no space. And like my grandma cleaned out her closet and it looks like she didn't even take a thing out. And she did. She took a lot out. And when you look, it looks like nothing changed. I'm like, why do you have so much stuff in here? So yes, and then back to the story. So I was on her phone and I ended up on Facebook because I was searching up my account. So I came across the reels. And I'm like watching the reels now because I'm like, oh shit, I've been looking for these videos. And she's like, uh-uh, give me my phone, give me my phone. Like, you're gonna like fill my phone with all this stuff. Like, she thinks I was downloading stuff. I'm like, I'm really trying not to curse. I'm like, lady, I'm literally watching Facebook videos. The same thing you do all day, all night. Like, when you're in bed at night, when you're on Facebook and you're watching videos, that's literally what I'm doing. She's like, uh uh uh, give me my phone. And that kind of gave me like that energy where someone wants to fight. Like the way she was talking and like her energy. Like I felt like she was trying to fight. And I'm like, I just like, why do I feel like I need to fight somebody all the time in this house? I'm just like, it, it, it's crazy because I just think it's a feminine energy. Because my grandpa, he gets on my nerves too, but he kind of minds his own business. And the times that he kind of is getting on my nerves, it's because of my grandma coming. So the times that he gets on my nerves and he's, and he's like, okay, clean the kitchen, clean the kitchen, clean up after, like, clean up after yourself. And that's because my grandma's coming soon. So he doesn't want to hear her shit either. But other than that, like, my grandpa, like, minds his own business. Like, we don't bump heads like that. It's more so when it, when it involves my grandma. So I think it's like this, like, women, women energy that is just not mixing well with me. Like, I don't think, I've always had, like, got along better with guys. And so I think this is the same thing. Like, I just, women are just so hard. I'm not going to say women because I want more women friends. I want to be close with women. I want a women tribe of, like, successful entrepreneur, wealthy women. So I know I need to, like, know how to, like, communicate and get along with women. But these women, I don't know what they're on. Like, I don't know how to communicate with these women. And I think that's what's so hard about living in this house is that there's no, like, communication. There's language barrier. Like, I can only say so much in Spanish. And it's like, I don't know. Every time I hear them speak in Spanish, I just feel attacked. And I have to remind myself that they're not attacking me. That's literally just how they talk. Like, that's their language. But a lot of times when I hear people speaking in Spanish, I just get, like, childhood trauma of, like... Because I just heard so many people talk shit in Spanish... That anytime I hear Spanish in a certain tone, it just sounds like someone's talking shit. And that's how both of these women speak. So I need to give Licha a bath. Like, I literally am cringing to death right now. Like, I'm gonna go back to Levy. Like, I'm just gonna act like I wasn't gonna go with Licha. Like, which, like, you call her Licha, I'll call her Levy. She, we'll see how she does, but I can't. I literally cannot say that word ever again. And that's how you know there's a language barrier because my grandma has no idea what the fuck I'm, she has. Sorry, I'm so sorry. My grandma does not know what a leech is, and so it, she thinks it's like cute to say leecha, but it's like, ma'am, do you know what a leech is? So I had to give Levy a bath, y'all. It was so funny. Crazy. I had to give Levy a bath. I was gonna give her. I'm gonna give her a bath outside. It was raining earlier, but it's clearing up. I'm just worried about the mosquitoes. But I'll just throw on like a sweatshirt, cause I'm not trying to have to bathe her in the shower. It's, it'd be a little bit easier, but honestly, I don't think so because she's a puppy, so I think she's gonna try to get out. So I'm just gonna leash her up, bathe her outside. Cause she's been like the lady that bought us to her. Like she brought her all dirty. And I'm like, yeah, she was free and all that, but you could have bathed her. <laughs> like, with that, she was like $100, but like, he's like $160. And they bathed him when I bought him, like, at the breeder's house. Like, literally, it's like the bare minimum. Like, ma'am, you could have had bathed her. So, she hasn't had a bath, and we're waiting for today because my grandma was going to, but now she's saying, like, oh, the one, I'm like, okay, I, I would have did this, like, the same day she got here, like, I'm here waiting for her to do it, and now she's, like, 
backpedaling basically. So I was like, all right, I'll bathe her. So I need to bathe her. I need to mop my room. I need to wash my sheets because I've been like holding her and then I'll like sleep in bed and like have like hair, her dirtiness from wherever she came from. Yeah, I'm clearly in a freaking crazy mood right now. So I just need to like Oh yeah, so when I was feeling tense, back to, back to like what I want you guys to take from this. So when I was feeling tense, I prayed to God. As I was praying, I kind of just felt like weightless, sort of, you know? Like you just kind of like, you can't like keep up, keep yourself up anymore. So I kind of just like, like this is literally what I did, guys. I swear to God. So I was praying like this, right? I was just like, oh. and I was just like this, like I couldn't like pick myself up anymore, and I just like. <laughs> and then I kind of sobbed. But yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to view crying as like a good thing. I know people are like, oh, you know, when you exercise you sweat when you feel emotional you cry so I'm trying to think of crying as like a healthy and good thing uh, and so because I'm like why do I cry so much and it's like I'm just I don't know if it's normal to cry as much as I do but I'm just trying to have a healthy relationship with crying because if not I'll start to tell myself I'm like miserable and like depressed instead of like this is just life you know like you're supposed to cry it's okay to cry your feelings are valid that's what I was telling me too like your feelings are valid like it's okay that you're getting anxiety over petty things it's okay that like these like minuscule things or what can seem to someone is like not a big deal it's okay if it's a big deal to you it's okay to cry and feel anxious about it so then after I kind of cried I was just like back to my like boss girl <laughs> boss girl stuff you know what I mean like okay like I'm a content creator I'm a blogger I'm an investor So yeah guys, so after that, I think part of it too was I had an eight. So while I was feeling tense, I had eight. That kind of helped a little bit. Then I came in here, prayed a little. Then I cried. And then after I cried, I just felt like so dirty. So then I took a shower. I literally was dirty. Like I wasn't dirty like from up, but like just being outside, like my feet, my toes were like had dirt on them. Like I was just looking like real like hillbilly-ish. And so I took a shower, and in the shower, this is like TMI, get ready if you guys are like sensitive to stuff. But while I was in the shower, I got the urge to poop. I literally think I was so tense, and that when I was finally like relaxing in the shower, I was finally like able to poop. So I pooped literally in the shower. <laughs> I literally pooped in the shower, and so I literally just like got toilet paper, picked it up, flushed it. Like sprayed it. I sprayed my butt. Um, and yeah, I feel better. Like I feel kind of crappy still, but I definitely feel much better than like like I don't feel like punching anyone in the face. So it really. And then after you know, I was kind of like getting along with Fatima, like more so Fatima, because I'm like today me and my grandma are sort of on good pages. It was just that day where I was like, I even told her I was like. I was like, you know I wasn't downloading anything, like I was watching videos, and she's like, yeah, yeah, but I'm like, and then while she's like doing like all that complaining, she's like telling me to take the dog out, and I was like, you're doing all that complaining about the phone, and you could have took the dog out, like I was such a bitch. <laughs> that's the thing about my grandma, like that's one thing I do like, is that like as much as like as toxic as she could be, and like I feel like she's like annoying and like a bitch sometimes, and like all these I honestly feel like I can at least open up to her to some degree. Like, I can, like, speak up a little bit. But with my biological mom, I don't feel comfortable, like, speaking up or, like, speaking my mind or, like, talking back. But with my grandma, some people might not say it's okay, but, like, I definitely... No, baby, don't... Take your shoes off. 
I definitely feel more comfortable talking back to my grandparents. And that's one thing that I like because it's already hard communicating. So talking back is a way for me to communicate. You know what I mean? I don't know how else to say things in a nice way. So sometimes it comes off rude when I talk back, but that's the only way I can like speak speak what's on my mind. So yeah, I pooped and all that, y'all, and I was back to like boss girl shit. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna give Leech a bath. I need to take her out. I'm gonna put jets on my chest, and then I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna put Jets in his chair. I'm gonna put Jets in his chair. Bathe little Levy. I think I should just fucking say Lisa. Oh, no, Levy, Levy, Levy. It's gonna take me a while. I think it's because I'm not used to saying Levy. I probably feel like I should just say these other names, but I just need to get used to saying Levy. So I'm gonna. After I get Levy, like I take her out, pee, shower her. Uh, I'm gonna like leash her up for a second and then like mop in here. I have to fold these bags of laundry. Just kind of like, you know, I gotta change these bed sheets. So you guys, I don't like to do a lot of talking when I'm doing that because I'm just really in my head. And it's hard to like talk to you guys and do all these things so you guys can just kind of observe. <laughs> but yeah, let's start. Getting our life together. That's one of the things Grant Cardone does. Or that's, I think, one of the things that successful people do is that they take control of their life. So, like, when Grant Cardone was on Undercover Billionaire and he was, like, going through his stuff, he, when he was in his RV, he's just kind of, like, thinking, like, what's the next move? And then in order for him to, like, kind of get back in it, like, okay, like, I got to figure something out, he started to clean his RV. Like, just simply sweeping his RV, and he was like, whenever, like, da -da -da, you know, you're going through something, you feel lost, or you're struggling, you gotta take back control of your life, and that's, like, by doing little things like that, like, cleaning up your space. So, I'm gonna take back control, you know, control what I can, control her name by saying Levy, control her cleanliness by giving her a bath, control my room by cleaning it, Control the kids by putting them in their spot and their seats and giving them what they need so that they can calm down. Put on the TV and just, you know, just controlling my environment as much as I can while sharing it with other people and stuff. Hi, Joey. You all right? It's maybe 27. I think it's only 27 or 28. I've been a for about six years. Oh, uh, I love doing it, and things are going well this year, so I'm excited to get going. I love it. And what's uh, like the, the value proposition of your channel? Making so it fun and approachable? What's yeah, I, I'm not a sewing expert or a sewing teacher. I really try to come at it from an, an everyday person. So I do reviews, I also do tutorials, but I really try to break down the information so it is so intimidating. I think that's a problem.
that we rent two videos to this person. Only under a thousand subscribers.